we're going to examine some common themes that some of the best hitters in the world possess and see if we can uh, emphasize these same things to our younger players. First thing we're going to talk about is the foot position as the player leaves the ground. And you'll see here how the left toe is driven around and is almost facing the ball and the setter and this allows the hips to open up and be facilitate putting a lot of rotation into the attack. And we'll get back to that uh, theme here directly and examine it a little bit closer. But you see how high and how much rotation the attack, uh, the attacker is able to uh, get into the swing. Same thing here. You'll see how this attacker same foot position, or at least a similar foot position, in terms of her left toe is around and her hips are open to the ball and, and where the ball is coming from as opposed to facing the net. From there, this hitter does, I think, a, a, a wonderful job of drawing her elbow back and look how she's opening her hips and shoulders into the attack. Again, we'll revisit this, but this is a common theme among the best attackers in the world. So now we'll go through it in a little bit of a, a slower sequence. And you'll see in this picture, uh, with our demonstrator being Stacy Gordon, uh, a four-time All-American at Ohio State, same thing. Her left toe is around and facing back to where the ball is coming from. And look how open her hips are. So she's not facing the net when she leaves the ground. She's facing the ball. Also notice how much rotation she's going to get, how the elbow's drawn back. And again, this allows the shoulders to open up to the attack. And think of how much rotation and torque she's going to be able to put into the attack. So now as she closes her hips, how much more force is going into the attack. And this is the thing that we really want to emphasize to younger players, is being able to open the hips and close. Same thing from hitting right side. Look how the elbows back and the, the, the hips and the shoulders are going to rotate into the attack. And the same thing from a different angle, a little bit slower motion here, is the elbow. When As soon as the elbow gets to about the shoulder or eye level, the attack elbow starts coming back. And look how, how, how her shoulders are open, her elbow is way back, and she's going to rotate into the attack. And she gets all that upper body rotation. And you wonder how these top flight hitters hit the ball so hard. And it's not because they're necessarily stronger, it's because they rotate. Same thing, left toes facing where the ball is coming from. Elbows driven back, opening her shoulders up to the attack. And we're going to talk about one more thing here before we, you know, shut this thing down. Is so many coaches, they talk about the arm swing and they want the players to get their elbow up. And I think this is uh, not a great verbal cue. I think we want to get the elbow back. So here we have Stacy with her elbow back and then she'll rotate her elbow up. So she finishes with her elbow up high and with a high contact point, but she doesn't start there. And I think that's something that we really want to make sure that we're telling our younger players. It goes from low to high. So here she drives up, her elbow comes back, and her elbow's not up, her elbow's back. And then she rotates her elbow to where she's going to have a high contact point. So, you know, the things that we're really emphasizing is the foot position on takeoff, having that left toe around, which will open up the hips to the ball, elbows coming back as opposed to hand coming up, elbow comes back, rotates her elbow up so there's a full arm extension, and then drives through the ball with lots of rotation. Okay? Last clip here, elbow back, and then it rotates in a circular motion, high contact point, and then driving through the ball with lots of upper body rotation.